Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share a fascinating troubleshooting journey that I embarked on a few months ago, introduce you to a tool that I built, and explain how it differs from traditional services that check inbound ports. We'll also see how it can help you test MTU issues, so let's dive right in. Alright, so here's the scenario. I was working with this router that was acting just a little peculiar. Outbound connections to the internet were failing for certain services using unusual ports. Ports like 443? No problem. They worked flawlessly. But try any other port and it was like shouting into the void. Now, this router had a stateful firewall built into it, but there were no policies configured that would prevent any outbound connections. You know, naturally I reached out to the ISP thinking maybe they had some filtering in place. It was a business account, but according to them everything was peachy on their end. So I was scratching my head, and the only temporary fix that I found was to factory reset the router. But that's like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. It's not exactly ideal. Then, um, during some deep diving, I noticed, you know, some things that were really odd. Only odd number ports were working outbound. Yes, you heard that right. Odd numbered ports were fine. Even numbered ones were not. The bizarre pattern got me to think. How could I effectively test and diagnose this issue further? So that's where the port tool came in. I decided to build a tool, a PHP application that was running on Apache, and it listens on all ports and redirects incoming traffic to port 80 using IP tables. Essentially, it acts as a catch-all server that helps test outbound connections from the router to any other port. So here's how it works. So by default, it listens on all ports. That's what the server is configured to do. So it's built to accept traffic on any port. And then of course, IP tables redirection. When traffic comes in on any other port, IP tables just redirects it to port 80. The PHP application just listens on Apache on port 80. So let's see it in action. Here you're going to see a uh, various connection attempts uh, using, you know, things like the good old telnet or you know trying to load the web page and on the right you should see a tcp dump output of what that traffic looks like you'll see a sin a sin ac ac and then probably the rest of the information on the screen should show up at some point sometimes it's a little slow one of the most intriguing anomalies that was or that we were trying to figure out was or at least in this case was that my testing tool from the surface appeared as if the connection was established directly on the port I was targeting. End users had no idea that behind the scenes, traffic was being redirected to port 80 via DNAT, which is also known as Destination Network Address Translation. And you're probably wondering how this differs from an inbound port checking services. I mean, those are pretty much all over the internet. You can just Google a inbound port tester and, well, this is a bit different. So inbound port checking services are designed to check which ports on your network are open to like an incoming connection. So me sending you and receiving data from you on a specific port, you know, that would help kind of identify vulnerabilities or maybe if you were hosting a game server, uh, because it's going to be behind your network or your NAT device. My outgoing port tool, in contrast, is designed to test outbound connections from your network to an external server. It helps understand which ports you know, your network can successfully connect to when initiating a connection out to the world. If you're interested in checking out the tool or perhaps contributing to it, I've left a link in the description below. Feel free to use it for your own troubleshooting adventures, especially if you suspect an outbound port's not working for you. Networking issues can sometimes feel like chasing ghosts, especially when the symptoms don't line up with the configurations. But with a bit of creativity and the right tools, we can uncover what's really going on. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights and troubleshooting tales. See you in the next one.
As a final note, I just want to thank everyone for the engagement. I know that my uh, last video was probably one of the coolest things that I've ever done, and a lot of people are really interested in it, and I'm just overwhelmed by the sheer amount of people who are just engaging with this channel and, and truly enjoying the content. I am going to be doing some other things similar to this in the future, but for now I'm going to give LTE and PLTE a break and hopefully try to learn some other things as I move along. So please stick around. Thank you and have a blessed evening.